Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the part 3 of our, our adventure in Deponia. Today I hope to get the coffee done and get Wenzel to move his ass and let us talk to the mayor. Um, I already have some ideas what we can do, some, some ideas we will try today and wish me good luck. First of all, what we've got in our inventory? We've got hand torch number 63, balloons, balloon filled with laughing gas. That's something I thought of, was thinking about. Can we get the black powder from that? Well, okay. Let's go to. Hmm. We got the black powder, so we can get it to Tony. And use the black powder. A pinch of black powder. Grinder. Hmm, what do we need there? Got the hot beans, black powder, and we need stimulation. I don't have anything from here. This will be from Boo. This will be from the battery, car battery. No idea where we can get that. This should be in. Uh, okay. Clear reviving and. How do I get out of this? Oh, here. So. Let's go further into the story. Go here and can we take ah, it? I'm starving. Ah. Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get... told me already. But I would get the parrot to get it to Tony. You got it. Hey. I don't abuse pets. Yeah, I hope strange. so. They're more than happy to help me with my experiments. Oh my god. <laughs> Your ah! parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Nice. So we can give it to Tony. Um... Can we... It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't nope. matter though, because... I'm always cautious. Oh. Here you can see the stuff that we need. And what if I take fire scan? No, boy, I already tried it. I already tried it. Edge. If the fetters weren't so wide. I could attach them to the hole over there. Ah, but they are too wide. No. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, on a streak, but this doesn't help me in. Uh, nothing else to pillage. How does it help me? Oh, Reich. that's not very logical, and to be honest, I think that really they should think about it. People who who created this, the Dalek Entertainment, yeah, that they should really think about the puzzles here, cause. That wasn't even a bit. Oh, can we take another one? Even a bit logical. 
Oh, we can. No idea what for, but let's have it. I have an idea with the hand. Uh, nom, 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 nom. With the handcuffs, we couldn't use the food something. The ball for food here, but maybe we could use the handcuffs. Touch. Ah, we could. And how does it help us? Ah. We still have this here. So if I get out, go here and up here to the emergency station, I can get the lockpick. And I have at least two ideas how we can use it. Let's go back. And now. Um, lever up. And can we use the lockpick here? Yep, and we still have the lockpick. I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. And we have stimulant and syringe. Okay, okay. We can go to Tony. Use the stimulant. Stimulant? And grind the hell out. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless. Yeah, the Reckless. Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Maiden Savior. Slayer. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Slayer. Um, sure, Slayer. Okay, so we've got all the stuff here. Now we need all the stuff from here. I think we could get the red liquid from the bowl using the syringe. I hope so. We have the funnel to get the battery acid, but we don't have anything to store it. And clear water. No idea, but in the meantime, stunt parrot. Oh, look what I brought you. Another dead bird? It's not dead. It's just resting. That's what you said about the pigeon. They call it cryogenic sleep. It was a time travel experiment. In my refrigerator? Well, where else would it be cold enough? There's not much room in your heart, after all. No more dead animals. All right. I'll go and wake him up. You do that somewhere else. Hmm. Not gonna use the stimulant. Tony's last therapist used to parrot everything she said. Tony's last therapist. Can't use the wood. Just throw him in. <sighs> okay, let's go to Tony's house. And up here. Yeah, no. Luck. Luckily, I'm a gifted lockpicker. What? Not even with this? What kind of a lockpick is this? Oh my god. You're not helping, mate. Can we take the pot? Ouch! Damn it! That's hot! I can open the oven, but I don't have anything. Oh yeah. Hmm. Let's try if Can I take it. Draw blood from an enraged bull. <laughs> Child's play. No, no. 
Oh. Did you get it? Bull's blood. Check. Okay, we've got the three. Maybe now she will get it. Will she give me the access to the the first okay. aid cabin? What? Did you not yet? You know what? I'll have a good Um I've gotta go. <sighs> I bet here you still are. Huh. He doesn't wake up despite the bull's blood. Hmm. Wrong blood type, maybe? How to wake him up? Hmm. I'm sure I can boost. Oh, oh, oh. That'll dull the blood. What if I oh, have to. Oh, 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 got an idea. And if I do this. <laughs> Burst. Nope. No. Right. No. Right. You do. How to wake him up? Throw him on the bull. Hey, I don't abuse pets and an Okay, no. That stuff looks pretty harmless. I think I can afford to lose a few drops. Uh -huh. Bit of a pain. Let's go to the alley. Lonzo's bar. Close spray. And coffee powder. So, I have the powder already. Hmm. I once heard that a bull's blood is supposed to revive your spirits, but before it can go into the tank, it has to be mixed with other ingredients. Mm-hmm. I really need some kind of bottle. Uh, what exactly? It's all written down. Just bring me it. Till then, I'll do some fun. Okay. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I'll you be getting help. on. You. Here we got everything we could. In here, pretty much too. Can I use the parrot somewhere? <laughs> Boy, how often did people around No. Let's try riding the bull again. Maybe the parrot will wake up. Somehow I don't think so, but... Nope. One more time. Won't help. Hmm. Wenzel's house? Wenzel. Hey, Wenzel. What's up? Maybe you can help me. <sighs> what is it this time? Do you have any idea where I can get clear water? Clear water? <laughs> that stuff only exists in legends. So what? My whole project is legendary. <laughs> Legend has it that your father once found clear water. That's how he got to be mayor of Kuvak. They say that there are still a few bottles 
hidden away in the town hall. That's my old man, all right. He left Deponia, but instead of bequeathing me his fortune, he hid it. At least he left you the divining rod. Maybe it is possible to find some water with it. <laughs> Dream on. <laughs> I think I'd better do whatever you oh, okay. later. Exactly. Not helping. Nope. In the bathroom, he doesn't have anything also. Let's go to Tony's house once again. Can we maybe put it in the pot? Hey, I don't abuse anyway. Nope. Into the fridge? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nah. No. And here? Ah, nothing here left. Okay. Let's go. Town hall? Yeah, they left. The post office will oh what? Oh there's something Hello Lottie. You are I'll skip nope. down. Probably hole. Maybe he can revive her? Gizmo never understood my philosophy, although it's fairly easy. Also no. And can't use the clock. Hmm. Now, this will be later on. Wakey, wakey. Boy, oh boy. Sir. Wakey, boy, oh. Nope. Wakey boy oh No. Somebody seems to be hooked, but it's not me. No. Alright, you do that. Water reserve, top of reserve. What? This brings water to the houses or with fluid, depending on the. Ah, uh, and attached firmly. Oh, boy, it's attached. Nope, 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 nope. Wenzel has attacked. <laughs> hey, I don't abuse pets and an ex. Hey, and an ex. Hey, and an exchange. Really They're trying to have some cure? My experiments. And don't get anything out of it. What else could we do? I'm missing something. Ah! The syringe won't do. I'd better look for a different container. Exactly.
What was that again about their gift vouchers? You hand them in at the post office and no. Then why are they called? I've got to go. But here you s Hands off my hand off my what was that? Their gift. You hand them in a and no. You can't have Then why are they called? I've got a go <sighs> But he- Haste! What exactly are you- I just thought it'd be good. Then I can use them. Some- uh Okay. You don't- You are- Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and- Couldn't I just pay- Pay me- Pay me- Le How the heck are you gonna- Or did you find- Well, not ex- Isn't it enough? That I still feed, and I guess you think you're. Why am I still? I mean, really? Why do I still? Oh, this sucks! I have to meditate. Uh, Again? Breathe out. That's how we do it. Ah, ouch! Hey. Um. <laughs> um. Ouch! Look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound. <laughs> what a great pleasure. <laughs> that is to say. Wait a minute. You dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please. I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Okay. We have this. Then we go to the Tony's house. Nah, there wasn't... We could try to steal the vouch. Uh, oh, let's... And we have only a tranquilizer here. And the only person I think that we could tranquilize is Tony back at shop, so we can get the vouchers. <laughs> I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart... Um... Rufus. Okay, we have prepared the dart. Can we just throw it at Tony? That's a great idea. All that's missing is a blowpipe. How the hell we like? Hmm. The funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. Ah! Indeed. That's how we use it. What the? A dart? A little longer. And... Ah. Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Okay, so can we take now everything? Vouchers? Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? Uh, oh, no. 
And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? Look around in the world and be happy. <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> Oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, just a moment. What? Uh, Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I counted them. Okay, now she's angry at us. But I have an idea. Um, we drilled the pipes in Wenzel's basement. We know there's the pipe here. And this here. But Wenzel's chimney is blocked. But inside, if we go up here, there's the open furnace. And if we go this and this boom shakalaka ha! this wasn't half as funny as i thought it would be um not a lot of, of things is funny here but let's kick the pipe Blah! it should stop at wenza's chimney now we can flood his home. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel's not here. Wenzel? I'm down here. Come quick. You won't believe your eyes. Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Such a buster. Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But... That's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment. The moment of triumph. <laughs> Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! Can we take it? Yep. Can we somehow take the water from the well? I don't want anything to do with Wenzel's stinking well. Oh my god! Okay, let's go to the mayor. I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, hmm. I'm, uh, I'm... Next up, number 63, please. Let's go in. Lotek, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotek? Uh, 
What? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. B be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? Not sure what he means. That's exhaust all the uh, speak. I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But, hmm. but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe, considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but 90% of those have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. <laughs> no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance. Mm. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. No, that's it. Well, then just beat it! I need to get to the assembly hall. Okay, give me a sec. Next, please! Ouch! Okay. Water emblem. Hmm. I kind of know this symbol. Nope. Ooh! Nice! Keyhole, lockpick. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Nope. <laughs> French, but okay. Communicator, bow. S O L O N G Y O U S U C K E. Damn, where was I? Okay, that's stupid. But finding rod, water emblem. this a hidden compartment wow. <laughs> dad's secret will see the light of day after all okay to the cupboard <laughs> a key my dad knew i'd be clever enough to find it i wonder what i get for it if i melt it down this Who's might be unnecessarily up? complicated but i'm certain dad wanted to make sure that i'm the only one who could get this far get to his big secret his legacy Huh? His liquor cabinet. Uh huh. Next, please. Hmm. Guess I'm last in line. Whatever. Who could possibly succeed except for me? That smell reminds me of something. Dad's aftershave lotion? <laughs> aftershave. Yeah.
I'm sure about it. Can we take... Yeah, we can! <laughs> Great! I siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. Blech. Yeah. Clean water? Where can I get clean... Um... Blech. This tastes like the cop syrup that Dad used to give me when I was too noisy. Nothing in here. There's only blue pools there. Water emblem. I kind of know this symbol. Huh, he's gone. Well, never mind. What kind of contraption is it? How can anyone sleep in that thing? On the other hand, if you're stupid enough to sleep in your desk, planet's magnetic a field that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. Hmm. What can I do with the booze? By the way. <laughs> I'll bet Fire Officer Gizmo would like that. I'll keep that idea in mind. And. And can't, can't. Extra rich water and reviving bull's blood. Exactly what good coffee water needs. Okay. Cool. I already have the special water, at least. So that's how we go about it. Okay. Let's go here to Lonzo's. Into the tank you go. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful. I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. 
Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the Espresso-verse! Holy smoke. More pressure! More pressure! Okay. Uh, okay. Are we... Are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch. Nice, I guess. Whew. I think this brew is gonna do the job. Nice. Finally, we got the coffee. Can we use it with, with the parrot? Wakey, wakey. See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Nice. We've got the parrot. Let's go to Tony's. Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow, so he's the exact opposite of you. Oh. <laughs> That's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! <laughs> Get out! Ugh. <laughs> oh. ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. Hmm. Got an idea. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Oh, Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a no good nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> what are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. Ah! <laughs> Cheap lies. Okay, we've got the parrot. Town hall. Um, Mayor's office. Oh, come on. It would wreak havoc. So it would be completely wasted potential to just set him free. Nope. What I'm planning with it really is worth a headline. But... <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. There is such possibility. So, can I just use espresso on go? What's that stinging smell? That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? Huh, you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. you. 
Me. You. Ha! I win. Oh crap. What's that supposed? That's you. Okay. What's that supposed? That's so me. I you. can get him out of here. Huh? <gasps> but you're not untouchable, low tech. Don't you ever forget that. Okay. Looky here, Wenzel too. Did somebody drop food? I mean, what's the deal with the crawling around on the floor? I'm waiting for Gold to wake up so I can take her with me, of course. Ha! Huh. Dream on. Although, it is true that ants can carry ten times their own weight. But why would Gold, an Elysian orbit elf, want to have anything to do with somebody like you? Duh, Rufus! You've always underestimated me. Ugh. Rufus! Rufus! Look at me. I'm a self-made man. Yeah, whoever made you must have stopped right in the middle. Oh, yeah? I am rich. I've got a water vein running through my basement. You, on the other hand, don't even have a basement. You ain't got nothing, Rufus. Hey, that's how you pay people back when they give their best? And what would I want with a basement in Kuvak? I don't belong here, and neither does Gold. And as soon as I wake her up, I will accompany her to Elysium. You'll see. Okay. Maybe now I can set it on fire. To get the mofo from here. And wake her up. Yeah. What's that funny smell? Ah! Fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. Okay, so now we've got this. Can we take the stethoscope? Yeah. Finally, I was getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoop! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, just where is... My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Huh? Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mare has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. Yeah, I think I can wake her up finally. Yeah. I... What... Well... How was that? Me. It was me. Happened. You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. 
No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. What? No, it, it's Rufus. Ooh. Yes? What? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Because, I mean, you you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> do, do, do you get it? Uh, slash dash kazash? <laughs> Savvy mommy, good, oh, granny. Grumblump? That's a false. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Munch crunch? Attack a tick tock. Oh! Knock knock. Hello? Anyone home? Home, 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 home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Huh. He's attractive and fun to talk to. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonkers, wonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick, we need to go back. To Elysium, yes, yes, you, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not, my, my name is Rufus, I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand, where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall, the doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... Uh... I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Oh. Well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can... Reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression generous Rufus please contact Cletus I would be so very thankful so very very thankful uh, I'm sorry I don't know if I can do that can spam when Tom or Polo lollipop peekaboo but Utam swadikosu loka shootapop oh the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Hmm. Nothing really changes here. I said the post office will be closed. Mm -hmm. This technology is a catastrophe. Okay. Oh, we can take clock from him. <laughs> Lone 
fingers, silent steps, the perpetrator was Rufus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hello? I never knew that the town council owned it's probably for those oh so important citizens assemblies to which I'm never invited for some reason. Can we take it? Yep, we can. Okay. To the town hall. Mm. Um, I think the post office is open. Me oh my I think Yeah right. You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> No. No, right? <laughs> okay, I can go to the post. Oh my god. Error. Error. All right, suit yourself. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast, and whoops a daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Oh my god. Okay. And they open the hatch here. A cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute. Postbot? Uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. Date the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. <laughs> Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office. Okay. Another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The no communication way. system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> nice. I think I can arrange that. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cat's hatch. Wow. See you later. Okay, guys. I think that's enough for one day. Thanks for watching. And see you again in part four.